So this video is to help you when sewing up Hortense the manatee, mainly really creating this quite unique muzzle and mouth shape on this design. So um, the main body of the crochet is nice and easy, big rounds, um, like lots of, lots of big rounds, uh, but nothing too complicated at all. But what creates this unique shape is the fact that we're going to sew a stitch between here on the muzzle and down into the body to close this top over and create that muzzle shape. So what you need to do is count four rounds out from the starting point. That's your starting point. Here's your tail. Make sure your tail's nice and flat and you will have a centralizer in the top of your head as well. So count four rounds down. So one, two, three, four to there. And then carry on counting to get to 17. So five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And so all we're going to do then is we're going to sew a stitch between this one and between that one there. So if you've never counted rounds before, I'll just do that from the very beginning. So you can see that is that six in a ring. And then it's going to be each um, circle of stitches. So each round that you can see that you'll count as a round. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It is a long way down the body that we're going to do in order to curve that over. So make sure that's straight once again, because you want a straight line with the tail flat. You want a straight line down from the muzzle like that. And then sew that nice and tight to pull that together. There we go. And then fasten that off. Now you can do a couple of stitches. That's one stitch. You could do a couple of stitches either side if you wanted to, just to close that up a little bit more. I'm going to do that to close my end off anyway. Like that. And now let's sew on the flippers. So you've got two flippers that are the same and you've definitely got a, a um, smoother curved side and then a more... Um, noticeable decrease there. And what you want to do when you sew them on is have your curved side forward like that. So we're going to position this in the same place as that one. And then you want to sew these in on a slight angle. So I'm going to sew that closed first. There's no stuffing in the flippers. And then I'm going to sew that into place like that. Then getting your second flipper, remember the same thing, that you want your curve to be to the front so that your um, mark shaping is at the back. And what I will always do here when I'm doing this is I will use my rounds as a guide. So I can see that that flipper is attached to that round there. So track it across to this side, put that into position and then sew that in the same way. So again, I'm just going to sew that closed first so it's easier to sew on like that. Check that that's in line. And then when it comes to sewing her eyes and her nostrils, I've also opted to give her eyelids um, just to soften the design because when I was looking at lots of pictures of manatees they do have quite small eyes um, proportionally so I just wanted to sew them into place in black as we normally do and then put those soft closed eyelids over the top to soften her face. So you see where you've got your harsh decrease line here on the nose count one two three four five up from that if you want a specific point so one two three four five up from that and then I'm going to sew the eye in here. And then I know that a lot of you like knowing exactly how many I've got in between them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in between. So come over here. And then put one in. 
Now you can obviously opt to not put the eyelids on if you want to, and you could just leave the eyes like that. Then I'm going to come down and I'm going to do the nostrils, just a couple of rounds up from the front of the head there. like that and now for the eyelids and this is something that you could add on to any design if you wanted to um, if you wanted just to soften the finish on the face I've not used it many times but I have used it actually often in aquatic so Hope the Whale um, was the first one that ever had the eyelids like this so all I'm going to do is using the silver so using the colour that I've crocheted the main um, body for I'm just going to sew across I've come a little bit far there actually a bit closer to the actual black line and then I'm just going to sew diagonally across the top of the black line like that and I don't want to fully cover it but I probably want to cover half of it like that down and do the same thing on the other side And then just to cover off the nostrils in the same way, I'm actually going to rejoin a piece of yarn there because I didn't quite have enough. I'm going to pull through again and then just do exactly the same thing, covering the top of the two nostrils. Again, entirely optional. It's not required if you don't want to finish off your manatee in this way. And with that, she is complete. So I'm just going to snip off those ends. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this design. Um, quite a different one, definitely with this structural um, muscle that's created on the front, but a really important species to highlight as part of the Conservationist Club.